Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Despicable Me 2, the sequel to the first Despicable Me. It stars Steve Carell, Christian Rigg, Benjamin Bratt, Miranda Cosgrove, Russell Brand, Ken John, Steve Coogan, Elsie Fisher, Dana Keller, Moses Ares, Mazum Betre, and Christian Shaw. The movie begins when ex-supervillain Gru, played by Steve Carell, has adjusted his family life with three little orphans and has attempted an honest living in the jam business. Unfortunately, a secret Arctic laboratory is stolen. So then, a group known as the Anti-Villain League decided that it needs an insider's help and recruits Gru in the investigation. Together with an eccentric ABL agent, Lucy Wilde, played by Christian Rigg, Gru concludes his prime suspect is the presumed dead supervillain, El Macho, played by Benjamin Bratt whose teenage son is also making the moves on his eldest daughter, Margot, who is played by Miranda Cosgrove. Seemingly blinded by his overprotectiveness of his children and his growing mutual attraction to Lucy, who seems on the wrong track even with his minions are quietly kidnapped in masses by some mild violent purpose. Now I have seen the first Despicable Me, and I have to admit it was very funny too, very um, exciting to watch. I mean, having to see a super villain unlike any other, who actually has a change of pace, and he's now taking care of three little orphans who are girls, even though he was working on his other mission with his minions. You know those those little Twinkies, although they did say they look almost like those yellow cells. But then you know how the film went. Because I remember seeing the trailer of this movie a long time ago, and it was fun. And of course, we now had a sequel to this, and I gotta admit, it was a lot better than I thought. In fact, it was even better than the first movie. Because this time, Blue is now working from a new organization. He has a working partner and love interest named Lucy. And not only was she very funny in this movie, she was also very beautiful too. And definitely the right choice for Gru. Because I know one of his daughters wanted her as a mother. In fact, she even wanted a mother too. So she asked why she was a good choice. And of course he had some trouble dating someone in the past. So eventually he wants to you know, work things out. Um, the minions, uh, once again, were very cute. You know, they're always going around doing all these funny things. And then <laughs> all the other ones got captured and they want to turn into those... Uh, those weird uh, creatures, so it was really cool. It was also great to see all the other characters, including his uh, lab partner. Also, I thought the villain was very funny too, you know, El Macho. You know, it was <laughs> one of those villains that just goes around doing what he does until he finally reveals himself. But it's, it's a fun movie. I, I think you should enjoy this film. Um, especially if you're a big fan of the first Despicable Me, and I really did enjoy that one a lot, but this one was even better. So, anyway, I give Despicable Me 2 5 stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.